What do honey, glucose, and high fructose corn syrup have in common? They're all common names for sugar. This is partly because sugar pops up in surprising places, from condiments to tea drinks. To limit sugar, you have to be able to identify it and know where it hides. That's where we can help. We'll highlight the different names of sugar and how to identify them. Plus, we'll provide you with simple tips for cutting back. So what is sugar? Sugar is a type of carbohydrate. After you eat sugar, it's quickly digested and absorbed into your bloodstream to provide your body with energy. Some sources of sugar are naturally present in foods. Examples include lactose, milk sugar, found in dairy products, and fructose, fruit sugar, found in fruit. Other types of sugar are added to foods to improve flavor, texture, and other properties of food. Sugar comes in many different forms and goes by dozens of different names. This can make it tricky to identify. These are some of the most common names for sugar. What is considered too much sugar? Not all sugar is bad, but eating too much of any kind can take a negative toll on your health. Added sugars are the main problem, which refer to those not naturally present in foods. Both types of sugar can be found on the Nutrition Facts label underneath the Total Carbohydrates section. The American Heart Association recommends the following limits on added sugar per day. For men, no more than 36 grams, which is equal to 9 teaspoons or 150 calories worth. For women and children aged 2 and older, no more than 25 grams, equal to 6 teaspoons or 100 calories worth. So what happens if I eat too much sugar? Eating more sugar than is recommended has been linked to many serious health problems, including obesity, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, increased risk for heart attack and stroke, heart disease, fatty liver disease, mental declines such as impaired memory, and some types of cancer. How can I limit my sugar intake? Unfortunately, added sugar is hiding in nearly 75% of packaged foods. While it's common to think of sugar as only being found in sweet foods, it's often hidden in many savory foods as well. This makes the task of cutting back a bit more tricky, but not impossible. Here are some tips. Read food labels. This is the best way to know if and how much sugar a packaged food has. It's a good idea to check both the carbohydrates section of the nutrition facts where it says added sugars and the ingredients list. Then, when possible, choose foods with the least amount of added sugars. Limit sweetened beverages. Beverages are the most common source of all added sugars that Americans consume. These include sweetened coffee and tea drinks, energy drinks, soda, cocktails, and other similar beverages. Try asking for less sugar when ordering, adding less sweetener to your drinks, or choosing naturally sugar-free options like sparkling water. Be wary of condiments. Things like barbecue sauce, ketchup, pasta sauces, and marinades can all be loaded with added sugars. For example, a typical serving of barbecue sauce can hide 10 grams, more than two teaspoons, of added sugar. Limit flavored yogurts and other sweetened breakfast foods like cereal, pastries, and granola. These are other common offenders of added sugars. Alternative choices include plain yogurt that you flavor yourself with fruit or small amounts of honey and low sugar granolas. Watch out for fat-free products. Sugar is often added to these products to improve the flavor that is lost from removing the fat. Choosing low or full fat products may be best in these situations. Eat whole minimally processed foods. Food in its natural state cannot contain added sugars. Examples include fruits and vegetables, beans and other legumes, whole grains like oats, brown rice, and quinoa, and nuts and seeds. It's a good rule of thumb to make the bulk of your diet consist of these types of foods. Sugar is everywhere, but there are ways to make sure you're not eating too much. Understanding the different names of sugar and where it tends to hide can help you to choose foods that support your overall well-being.